is how to play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone, warning, what you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright, that's... sounds good to me. I don't know where yesterday I woke up, and my back was hurting. Now, not my previous back injury. Don't get me wrong, my back is never gonna be perfect. Um, there are days when if I'm, you know, oh, I'm doing some heavy lifting or doing a lot of physical activity, my back hurts. And then I gotta be careful because I don't want to strain it or re-injure the back. But I know for the rest of my life I'm gonna have, uh, these issues. Both my mother and my father have back issues. It is hereditary as well as, you know, me already having a history of it. Alright? So, the reason I'm telling you this is the good news is the lower back injury pretty much is, is fixed. Now all of a sudden I got health issues creeping up. I woke up yesterday, out of nowhere. Now I had zero pain in my back, no issues when I went to sleep. I wake up in the morning, and I got back pain. Not lower back pain, upper back pain. Now, I've never in my life had upper back pain. I don't care, so shut up. All of a sudden, I wake up yesterday morning, I got back pain. And it's not like, oh, a little bit of soreness. It's like, damn, there's like shooting pain. It's like radiating. Like, what happened here? And I hate to say it, but yeah, it gave me kind of uh, memories, like a throwback to when my back, my lower back had, to, had an issue. It kind of reminded me of that, okay? Please, if you can, please tip me. Please, if you can, please, please. Oh, I'm gonna stop. I got depressed because the pain was so bad, and that was one of the worst times of my life, is when I first had my that, that back injury, and I didn't know what was gonna happen to me, okay? Um, at the very least, this is upper back. Obviously, what I'm saying here is that all of you should immediately empty all of your wallets. It's not anything that I need to bring up constantly, but it is something that's serious if it does get worse, and I'll, I'll let you guys know what happens, okay? So basically yesterday, I'm doing really good. I'm kicking ass in Elden Ring. I'm making major progress. I'm picking up all the items that I originally, you know, missed out on. And there's a group of people in the stream that are literally sitting there complaining. Okay? Oh, this is boring. Oh, I didn't tune into a Dark Side Phil Elden Ring stream to see him actually win fights. I'm here to just see him lose constantly and rage and complain and be salty. And I'm here to see him be insanely challenged and... This is ridiculous that he's actually doing well in the game today. What a boring stream. And some people even went as far to say, well, because this stream is boring. We're not going to contribute. I'm not going to do any kind of contribution today. I refuse because this stream is boring. I'm here for the rage. I'm here for suffering. All right. Now, admittedly, I, I'm looking at the chat and I'm trying to interact with my audience and I'm having a good time and I'm kicking ass and I'm looking at this group and I'm like, Tips, where are they? It's the nearing the end of the stream yesterday. And I'm looking, and it's like, contributions, to be honest, were low for an Elden Ring stream. And I asked the audience, I said, what is going on? Because you guys traditionally, up to now, every stream I've done in this game, you guys have been engaged. You've been telling me how good the stream is. Today seems like the opposite. Everyone's complaining it's boring. So what's happening? And the feedback I get is, well, you know, the other streams up to now, you were struggling. And, you know, we liked seeing you be salty and die. And you didn't do that today. And that's why we're really not too impressed with the stream. And I'm like, yes, but you have to understand, again, in life, that's not how life works. But they didn't get it. Like, I'm not kidding. These people, these entitled group of viewers, literally, I guess, live in isolation and live in an insulated life where they don't understand how life actually works. If you don't have the moments to build to the good moments, you can't have the good moments. They don't understand that. I think we have this generation now. We do. We have this generation now of instant gratification. I want what I want, when I want it, immediately for free, and if I don't get it, wah, 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 this sucks. Okay, I have a newsflash for you. If you go through life like that, you're not going to succeed. You're going to be a failure in life. You're going to be disappointed nine times out of ten. You are going to be very sad, and you're going to end up being depressed, and you're going to hate your life. You can't go through life like that. Everyone has to realize that's not how it works, okay? So, I was upset. Admittedly, I'm like, so you're telling me, because you guys told me to do things in the wrong order, and I listened to the feedback of my viewers, and I did things in the wrong order. Now I have to go back to get these, because here's the thing. If I didn't go back and get the upgrades for the flask, I'm never going to beat this game. I won't. Y using a flask that has zero healing ability, just doing like a little, a little nub, a third of my health bar, I'm never going to beat this game. I had to go back to get those items. There was no way around it. So it was either do it when I should have, when I didn't, because you guys told me to do the castle, 
or go back later. So it's kind of like, I want instant gratification, so I tell Phil to do everything to get it. Now I shot myself in the foot because Phil has to do a stream to go back and do the stuff he missed, but now blame Phil. That's literally what happened. Oh my god, he's drinking salt. Like it was my fucking fault. I didn't know what I was doing. And obviously the game doesn't tell you. I'm just doing what people are telling me is what I should be doing, alright? So, near the end of yesterday's stream, I said, you know what, if you guys are going to seriously be this, this ridiculously immature about it, fuck this, I got 20 minutes left, watch this. And I teleported from South Loom Grave, which I finished, I did everything in it, back to Kaelid. Do you guys know Kaelid? It's a, it's a later game part of the game, you're not supposed to be there yet. And I had gotten there because there was a chest that teleports you there, and I think what it is, you're supposed to go there and get your ass beat as a preview of what's going to be there. Man, it's fucked up, it's like Bloodborne on steroids, it's like a, a giant lake of um, poison with these mutated creatures, holy shit. I kicked their ass. I just beat a, a boss from way further in the game. I'm not supposed to be here. And I kicked his ass with Scarlet Rot. And of course, what's hilarious about that is, now I'm looking at the item I get as a reward. It's like a golden scarab. And it's like, oh, this golden scarab earns you more grace for every kill. And as I'm reading it, the Scarlet Rot takes my all my health away and I die. And I lose all my souls. Well, grace, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Alright? So, what happens? People contribute to the stream. And... I'm not even kidding, like, like, a lot. It wasn't just, like, a little. It was, like, we had a bunch of members, a bunch of tips came in. Now, listen, I appreciate that. That's awesome. But, again, I have to kind of reiterate something. This can't happen every moment of the playthrough. You understand that. The way the game is set up is that you have to go to these areas to unlock certain things, to get certain upgrades. You just have to do it. If you don't, you are missing out on the critical things you need to succeed in the game. <sighs> Oh, man. All right, guys. Good night. These pity people who do this shit, all right? I hate to say it. They're stupid. They're just fucking dumb. They want suffering. They want to see Phil rage and suffer and have no fun. These are the same people they would never attend a chill stream because they want me to be unhappy. That's literally why they're attending. They want to see Phil be unhappy. Now listen, I understand seeing me be challenged by something. Okay? That's one thing. There's another thing to literally say, well, guess what? We don't ever want to see you happy. We just want to be on your stream to watch you suffer, and when you suffer, then we'll support you. Like, what the fuck kind of twisted logic is that? No, really. You have to understand that's twisted logic. You know? That's kind of like saying, well, the more I hurt myself, the better support I'll get. Right? Like, how fucked up is this? these idiots who do stunts and do pranks and end up fucking their bodies up? Right? In order to get over. Like, that's I'm a gamer, dude. What are you talking about? Like, that's twisted shit. It really is, like... It just... It makes me feel like people are... I have this really... Really messed up mentality. Uh, your hiring manager t did a 100-bit cheer. I said, Why would I believe you about anything? When you lied about being engaged, you lied about the wedding, you lied about the cat, so how can I believe anything you say? Then don't. Wow, Phil's a scammer, he's a piece of sh underhanded shit, he's been lying to his viewers and fans for so long, um, and basically saying that, you know, he uh, was raising money for taxes, but all that money obviously went to pay for this wedding that he didn't tell us about, and he scammed us, and no one would have ever contributed if he had said it was for a wedding instead of something important like taxes, and this is fucked up, and he's really screwed the pooch. Ha <laughs> I'm an evil bastard. If you're someone who purposely only attends my content to see me suffer, all right, get a life. Really, get a life. Just stop. Reassess what you're doing. There's a point where, yes, you want to see me be challenged, but if you're someone who's only here for the negative toxic shit, you really need to improve your own life. You need to look in the mirror and say, oh my god, what am I doing? Seriously, what am I doing with, 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 with this time that I have on this planet? That you think that just being someone who, who wants to hurt someone, and you get revelry in that, is a valid use of your time, you're sadly mistaken. You really are. And you're not helping anyone on this planet. You're, you're actually hurting human society with a mindset like that. You are. You could be doing productive, constructive, positive things with your life. Instead, you're sitting here wasting your life on toxic, hurtful shit. And you have to stop. Really, get some help. You need it. And this is not me trying to be insulting. This is me actually being real with a group of people out there that I feel over the years have stalked me both on the internet and in my real life to try to hurt me for literally no justifiable reason besides they're fucking crazy. Stop it.
when I see this behavior, it, it shocks me and it scares me that there's so many people on the planet that are in that and stuck in that. Genuinely stuck in that mindset. And get the fuck off my stream. Let us have fun with what we're doing on the stream. Alright? I personally now, I've actually learned to find that I can enjoy the happiness of others. That's 100% a lie. And that's a tough thing for me because when I was younger, I was an incredibly jealous person. And I'd be like, man, someone else is doing well and I'm maybe not. Oh, God. I'm so angry and upset and jealous. And they don't deserve anything and I deserve everything. That was kind of a mindset that I had back in the day, you know? And now I kind of, you know what? No, that's, that's a bad mindset to have. You should be happy for other people when they're successful and when they have, you know, uh, happy things happening in their lives. And then maybe those happy things will come to you too. There's still this back here. And it's still in the back of my neck, the back of my head, the back of my mind. And it's always telling me. It's <laughs> WWE Champions time. I love it. I love it. Is, is a mobile game addict. Still has indoctrinated children who send him money blatantly milking for money it's a money pit it's gone just gone like that in an instant fucking gone i just care about money that i just can't help it i ebay contributions are mandatory but i need your help i am appealing directly to you no decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. <laughs>